Hello there. Today's video is on Word 2010 and using the find command. So hopefully you have a Word document open with uh, some text in it. And you're going to go to the home tab and to the far right there's the editing option. Now this isn't an editing group. There's just one item in this subgroup and it is editing. should be represented by a pair of binoculars. And you can click on the binoculars or the little arrow beneath it. And uh, there's several options here, find, replace, select. For this video, we're just going to look at find, because there's a lot going on with find, and I could fill up a whole video with it. So uh, click on find, and that should put, read, pop up the, uh, the find pane. It may actually pop up a new window, like this. But if you grab the window, drag it off to the side, it should whoop, pop onto the side of the, of the main area. All right, so in there, you can type a word to search for, such as technological and it'll find that word and it'll show you that there are six instances right below there uh, there's a option to view all of the locations and you can click on them or you can hit enter and uh, it'll scroll through them there's an up button and a down button but it'll, you can also scroll using the scroll window for some reason there's three tabs here uh, this one shows the individual instances of the words. The middle one will show whole pages, and if there were multiple pages to this document, I could click through them. I'm not really sure why that's there. And uh, there's the option to read the heading. Uh, I don't have any headings in this document, so I'm sorry. There's the option to search the headings. I don't have any headings in this document, so this is all you get to see. All right, so uh, that's the reading pane, and uh, I closed that by clicking the little X in the reading pane. Let's just, I didn't really show you that. There's a little X in the upper right corner of the reading pane. You can close it. Apparently, you can move in size and close it that way, too. All right, so that's the simple find. There's also the advanced find. Now, when you click editing, and there's a menu below find, which contains find, that's the reading pane. And there's advanced find. Advanced find is going to pop up a small dialog box. Now, your dialog box may look like this, uh, but right now we're going to look at the less dialog box, the small little one. So click the less button and shrink it back up. All right, so you can see it knows the last word that I searched for. And as I enter through, it'll jump to each one and it moves the, uh, the dialog box out of the way so it doesn't cover up the word. All right, so I can also, let's uh, move this. I can also select a whole paragraph and I can find it in the current selection. That's the text that I've highlighted or the main document because if I don't select the whole paragraph, I only get one option there, main document. Uh, there's the find next button that's pretty obvious what that does the same way if you hit enter it'll jump from one to, to another and there's a uh, reading highlights so I can highlight all of the instances of that word so you can see how it now has yellow behind it and when I exit out that highlight stays so the way to get rid of that is a uh, find advanced find clear highlighting and it's gone so it makes it easier to find and scroll through uh, without using the find command at that point because it's all highlighted. All right, so now let's go to the more button. And the more button gives us uh, a lot of options here. So let's go to match case. Now in every instance in the, uh, in the word, I've spelled it with a capital T, as you can see right there. If I... Uh, if I do that, I have a lowercase t listed right here. So it won't find it because it says item was not found. And uh, it'll ask me if I want to start at the beginning. Yes. Oh, no. Search the whole thing. Never found it. But if I uncheck that box, finds it. Finds it. So. The, uh, the match case is exactly the way that I typed it, all caps or all lowercase or whatever. Uh, and of course, there's the 
search up, down, or all button. Uh, there's also find whole words only. So if I had a word, I don't know why I would, but if I had a, let's move this down so you can see it. If I had with in, well, find whole words only. So if I do a search for uh, techno, which is part of technological, oh, it'll find technological. As you can see, it's got the first half of the word highlighted. But if I do find whole words only, means it's going to find techno. No words that contain techno, just the word techno. So if I do find next, it doesn't find it because it's got to match it exactly, techno. Uh, alrighty. Wildcards gives me the choice to look for uh, words such as if I put in W asterisk T, it'll take any word that begins with W and ends in T with any number of letters in between. So wit, what, woot, without, uh, any of that stuff will qualify for this. However, if I do a W asterisk question mark, the question mark only allows for one letter. So it'll let wit and wet, but uh, woot and without don't work because woot and without have multiple letters in between the W and the T. This is only allowing one letter in between the W and the T. So that's how uh, the, the wild cards work. There's actually quite a few of them, but uh, those are the two most common. There's also homonyms. So for example, uh, if I do sounds like in English, and I want to find the word for and all words that sound like it, I can actually search for for, like the number four, and it'll find that as well. Uh, there it goes. Highlight it. F-O-R. Which sounds the same as F-O-U-R. Alright. And then find all forms of words. So let's say I have a word such as use. It'll find user, using, used. Uh, so let's do next. And it'll find using. Same way with uh, version. And then find next. It should find versions. There we go. Yeah, found the plural. All right, so uh, that's what the uh, find all word forms option does. There's the match prefix. So I can do a uh, win, and I'll find words that begin with win, such as windows. But I can also do suffix with al. Should find technological for that. Yep, it did. But it wouldn't find words that begin with it, such as algebra or alchemy. Uh, just the words that end in al. And that's what suffix is for. Uh, I can ignore punctuation characters. So if I had a with and in it would find that but if I had a, a sentence that ended with with which and started with in which would be um, poor grammar I understand but it wouldn't find that if I just did with space in unless I just said ignore the punctuation letters and if I did uh, ignore the spaces in between you know it's going to ignore spaces as well um, so that if I do ignore spaces then that with space in will actually find within. Uh, so that's a lot of the check mark boxes that are available on the advanced find. I can also search by format. So before, let's close this box here. You can see Technological is here in plain text. I also have it, uh, I believe, bolded in here. Yeah, there it is right there. Bold it. So we can search by formatting of the text. So let's do an advanced find again. And I want to find technological, but I can click format, font, and bold. So now let's find next. Yeah, start at the beginning. And it found one instance because that's the end of it. Now, if I remove the font by clicking the no formatting button at the bottom, you can see it doesn't list bold below the word here. See where it says search down? If I do font, bold, 
right there it says format bold font bold now if I do no formatting let's actually do this font regular it won't find the uh, you won't find the bold it one. Oh yeah, start at the beginning. Should skip over the bold it one at this point. Yeah, didn't find it. All right, it's only highlighting it now because I highlighted it when we started. All right, so uh, that's how you use the advanced find features in uh, Word 2010. Let me clear the formatting. So let's do uh, no formatting on the search. And as I said, it's pretty close to the replace. The replace is kind of the same options, but use it to replace. And then the go to is completely separate. But they're all pretty closely related. But that's how you use the find command. So hopefully you've learned something from this video, and uh, you'll get to play with Word more for it. Thank you for watching.